Grand Risings, guys. I am about to go in for an NST, but there's hella freaking cars. I'm gonna park in here because there's like it's game day in the Iowa hot guys. People go crazy. And I'm just like, are you freaking kidding me? There's really people trying to park here for the game. Like, there's patients that need to park here. It's the most annoying thing, but I'm so glad that we came early. <sighs> We're gonna start Pitocin. So they put in the Pitocin. They already leveled it up two times. I got it at eight and they leveled it up at like 9.30. I'm feeling the temp the contractions i've been having them anyways kind of feel the same but just more close i was trying to take a nap right now um like in and out but i'm hungry and just went pee and it feels like i can't finish peeing i still have the sensation of being and they brought my pitocin up again three times since nine that's when they said that they started me so i'm on the ball now to just get things moving and grooving if she a baby mama drop 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 down down low drop drop oh my goodness i just came back to sit down i was on the ball for a little bit i have the pitocin at their 15 and they said 20 is the most that they could they could go above that but 20 is kind of like the cutoff so right now they just did the vaginal sweep and checked my cervix i'm still at four centimeters so with the vaginal sweep <laughs> she did it on a contraction i was like uh oh, i don't remember this hurting this bad i think i was contracting she's like yeah and so pretty much the sweep is where they have to go like in the cervix and kind of go against the wall stimulate the membranes and i was like Whew, i'm walking around and i feel it so i'm squatting right now so they can feel or they can see your heartbeat too i was gonna say i forgot my glasses i'm like my face looks different and my freaking things are loose <sighs> Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. I don't know about this jump song, but we're gonna have to see if this baby jumps out. Sure, go pre save the link. One hour later, it's a wrap. <laughs> She's over there with daddy o and they're weighing or they're checking her weight and stuff and her length. Um, I ended up having her in the water, guys, because I was laboring in water and just can, yeah, all that stuff. And that was it. So Zyla is currently in the transition NICU because she was breathing good and everything but she started breathing a little too fast. She's breathing a little too hard so we're just going to monitor her for a little bit and we'll see. They want her to up her oxygen levels above 90. We'll see what's going on right now. I have my mom driving me around. Hello? They have the incubator. I swear I have the best big sister ever. She got me a bunch of snacks. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend to snatch up right after having a baby. This is just using a workout band, not too tight. <laughs> Grand risings, guys. <laughs> I was able to sleep and the nurses helped me because I needed to watch over her over the night um, to make sure she was breathing good because every like her oxygen and everything was good. But they just wanted to make sure she kept everything going so then i was sleeping i wake up get checked and then pump and then um, like right now i'm pumping and she already ate all her food did like a double pump so that way i make sure that she's getting what she needs while i increase my milk so yeah i'm about to bring her in here soon so i'm here with zyla and she's on this because um, the little thing that's on her nose like this is just helping her breathe. It's helping the flow since she was born early. There's some stuff in there that they just need to clear out, and, but it's in her full control. She's just breathing too fast because she's an overachiever. Like somebody I know, they said that she's doing really good and that they're just going to check her for 24 hours over here, which I mean, this is the best hospital around, so I'm confident. And her brother was here before. And he couldn't breathe on his own. She's breathing on her own. She just needs, you know, that extra little push to clear everything out. Go pump again. I've been pumping every two hours. That way I can make enough milk for her, her sugars, and just start boosting up my milk. She just started suckling. She didn't want to at first. And then I'll tell you guys how we had her. It's a crazy story. Do you guys want to hear it? 
Okay, so I'm back in the room. I took a bath to soak. It says to soak like three to four times. Like, but I don't have that much time. <laughs> I'm sweating now, but I need to sweat because I have a lot of water weight, if you guys can see. I had to take off my rings because I was starting to get really swollen. So swollen. So I'm just letting it sweat out. But I'm over here pumping. You know, I'm showing you a little bit because <laughs> I don't want to get, you know. I got my own pants. <laughs> no, so my story of having labor. I don't know if I mentioned it before. I forgot how tiring pumping feels. I just came back with baby. She's suckling on her pacifier, which is a good thing because at first she didn't want to suckle at all. It was so cute right now. There was a baby crying. She just woke up and started crying. She is going to be really intuitive. It's crazy. When I was pregnant of her, I always felt so like i felt more intuitive and you kind of feel like that already in pregnancy but just felt it and having the cord knotted we're gonna have a medium on her hand she's gonna be telling me like it is <laughs> i'm over here catching myself still walking pregnant look at that and i'm like the way i'm bending so i'm like nope poking my butt out so that way my tummy is not out <laughs> So yes, I'm on the toilet, but nobody talks about this part, the postpartum part. This thing, I love this thing. So it's not a douche, it's just like a freaking cleansing bottle. Put warm water in it, cold water, whatever. I like it preferably cold. Spray it on your, you know, hoo-ha or whatever. And then you got big old pads that they give you. And you need these big pads. Like, forget trying to look cute right now. You need these because you're gonna get your period kind of heavy unless you drink the raspberry leaf tea. Okay, right? But you put this on your underwear that they give you because you don't want to get your underwear from home all nasty. You put it on, you squirt all your, you know, you pat it. Don't wipe, it's gonna hurt. You just stretched your vagina from like this, or some girls be like this, right? Like this to like this. Okay, it's trying to heal. You need to let it heal. And then there's other stuff too you could like use to heal down there, but honestly, just keep it clean. I think my milk kicked in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I gotta go brush my teeth. Ooh. Just woke up six in the morning and they got her on the belly ribbon lights. Today is, let me check, what the hell is today? It's Tuesday, and I'm not really doing that much updates because I'm just trying to bond and relax, take it slow. And I'm swollen as hell. You get more swollen afterwards. My feet are worse, but I, I have my feet up right now. I got discharged already on Monday, which is Labor Day, which is yesterday. And I'm just chilling here until we get a room for baby. She's just going to be here for a few more days because they want to wean her off the CPAP, the pressure flow is like on the lowest and then they want to wean her to like start feeding and the more feed she's doing and lower her liquids um so they have to do that at the same time you know and so just a few days um miss my babies ready to go home this is day three postpartum you're still very bloated i still got my back fat she lashed right away. She did good and now she's milked out. Right? She's gonna poop. You're gonna poop. You're gonna poop. <laughs> I wanted to see if the faha fit me, so I put it on. But honestly, I only put it on for like an hour because it was starting to feel very uncomfortable. So you don't want to wear them too fast. So, update. They gave us this room. I mentioned it before. But she is wide awake. <laughs> she has a feeding tube. She doesn't have the cranula or whatever it's called that helps her breathe. But we've been nursing. She did good. She latched. <laughs> and still swollen. I know. Wearing a faja here and there because it starts to get itchy from sweating. Today she had a setback and we we're supposed to wean her off fluids and feed more. She's been eating more, but. She just looked at her belly even got a little high, so that means John does. Went up a little bit, and then her glucose went down. So we're like, okay, we're not going to wean her today. We're not going to wean her tomorrow. And at least if she, she has to be weaned off for a day while observing. Now you go home. She was really tired today, and I think it was from nursing. Going to nursing is a lot.
Today is Friday. It's almost gonna be a week. My swelling has gone down a little bit today. I've been trying to massage my face. Because like I said it's about it takes like about a week for the swelling to go down anyways. After having a baby, some people swell more than others. But anyway, so she's back on the lights. Her belly ruben went up a little bit. It's still below her threshold, but since it went up they wanted to keep it controlled pretty much and not have to rise higher because too much belly rubin can mess with the brain they say like the last few weeks of gestational age so like a pregnancy is a lot about the brain and like a lot of the time that the brain like develops and stuff so to keep track on that but it does mean that we're going home later but i'm happy that we can fix this now or not fix it but you know we can worry about this now being here instead of like me having to have something happen at home and then having to come back you know so at the same time i'm grateful i'm just like because little setbacks and stuff but it's not her fault it's because she's early and so yeah we were supposed to wean a few days ago but you know just slowly and that that's what i keep telling myself is like uh, slow and steady wins the race so as long as she's good like i'm good it's just i do miss my babies and my husband and food <laughs> but at the same time i'm good because like i've been eating salad and they have like a family meal and stuff so i've been trying to be mindful of what i order like today i ordered two soups because for some reason i've been wanting caldo which is like soup and i forgot a freaking brush so my hair is all like it gets like this because when i have it up in a bun so it's all like kinked and stuff and it looks unhealthy but i swear it's not <laughs> and i put conditioner in it it's just like bent from all the buns i've been putting it in anyways i am spotting now because when you breastfeed you don't really bleed that much because you it's helping the uterus contract and helping it do its job so your bleeding goes away a lot faster and i'm drinking the raspberry leaf tea still the liquid iv to help my breast milk my milk already kicked in and then i am also breastfeeding and she is also taking i would say supplementing the rest so that she has more calories because my breast milk doesn't have enough calories that way her glucose needs to stay up her sugars need to stay up and her sugars like will go up and down so that's what it is right now it's very common in breastfed babies because they're early <laughs> they need more nutrients like if they were in the tummy constantly getting nutrients and now they have to work hard for it so i think she's getting hungry crazy i get a good freaking view hey my homies might be somewhere in there the student area i don't even care for football but this is dope i'm not even gonna lie it's officially been a week i am exhausted <laughs> could not sleep last night i had a huge migraine and baby kept waking up which luckily the nurse was helping me i need to trim my hairs I need to get my life together. <laughs> Myself together, my life is together. What's crazy cool is that the stadium of the University of Iowa, guys, college football, is like right there and they're literally having a game. I know nothing about football, but it's still kind of cool that it's right there. Peeking over there because you can kind of see what's going on in the screen. It's kind of cool. And like the music is busting. Like you can't really hear it, but I can hear like the beats. I can kind of tell what they're playing. Or like the band is playing, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm pumping right now. <laughs> can't show you everything. And we've been nursing and stuff. It's been back and forth. Uh, from the last time, her Billy Rubin, which is like the jaundice, has stayed down. She's too tired to like be nursing. So I think we're just going to do bottles with the protein and stuff to gain her glucose and so she can gain weight. That's the update for now. And then hopefully we can go home. My kids and my husband were here, but I was too tired to show you guys clips. Oh shit, yeah, yeah. Look, start waving over here. Mm -hmm. 
See the recordings, yeah. I make one more. more. And they let me sleep, so that was nice. I wanted to show you guys how I put on the faja. I start from the bottom up. I highly recommend. Don't put these kind of fajas on right away after birth. Wait a while and only wear it for an hour or so at a time. Hey guys, so today is Sunday. Yesterday, she turned a week old, but I wanted to tell you guys about. So I have my hair. I did wash my hair. <laughs> but about getting snatched after being postpartum, I think it's good to put on something tight. You don't have to wear something like this all the time or just like wait a week so your body can like heal um but you can wear like one of those workout wraps just to have something snug is going to help really feel like the weight isn't like, pushing down on you since all your organs are going back together but i highly recommend it because then you feel more put together <laughs> and it helps your tummy go down and have less bloating and less gas from having all that hang pretty much and my swelling finally went down on my feet um, i've been trying to sweat letting myself sweat and last night i was super cold so i was getting like cold sweats but i slept decent yeah hopefully we can go today we're going home i just gotta go pick up her vitamins so i'm home now guys and this is her i'm gonna take a nap because i'm tired she kept me up all night typical baby stuff you know what i mean but she was sleeping way more comfortable here than the hospital. She hardly cried. Like, I would uh, grab her right away. And I was hearing her like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then I still got to run errands, get some Dunkin'. And then we out. Thanks, guys, for watching this journey. <laughs> My third Coley Stacey baby. Go check out the other parts to these videos and the labor vlog story labor story because it's not a blog it'll be up soon you already know it's not a rough life uh, it's not a rough life it's a rough moment you will get past it and you will own it she the poly wife that everybody likes she gets the party hype and always full of life she brings the best out of everybody cool latina and she thick like cardi she wants you to see how great you can be get motivated with me it's top peace